Hi guys, Chris here from USP Motorsports. So the other day, I'm sitting here working on my Golf R and thinking of what can I do on YouTube to make a cool informational video where I'm not essentially selling anything, I'm just speaking from my heart. So after working on my car, I was kind of thinking about what, it, what I want to do and next thing you know, the next day I'm taking a shower and it hits me. I was like, what's the biggest problem I've seen from working on these particular cars for almost 20 years in the repair industry? So I said to myself, man, if I had a dollar for every time I saw this particular broken part, I'd probably be Bill Gates by now. So the part I'm talking about is an electro connector on these European cars. So this connector, I personally call it a D connector. Obviously it's, it's, it's named D connector for a reason. As you can see, it has a flat side around. So it kind of looks like a D. Is that a capital D maybe? I don't know, but it looks like a D. So I call it a D connector. Now, if you've ever worked on these cars, you know that these little pesky clips are everywhere. They are on coil packs, they're on mass airflow sensors. What's this, an, uh, um, a vehicle speed sensor, um, a power wire. I mean, they are everywhere on these cars. So these connectors, if you're working on them, can be the biggest peskiest things. And, and, and some of you guys are mechanics out there, you can agree with me that they seem pretty trivial and they seem pretty simple, but sometimes if they're in a tough spot and you can't get two hands, they are a pain in the butt, okay? So I'm gonna show you a, a few tips um, um, I call myself the D-connector uh, specialist. Uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, um, okay to say, but I, I find that I, I'm able to get these connectors off. Um, I take the challenge in the shop. When someone can't get it off, I'm always gonna be there to get it off because I understand how they work. And it's really simple, it's really simple. This isn't like a, a rocket science or anything. So if you look at this D-connector, I'm gonna try to get some up close pictures here. You can see there's a couple different color things in there. Where there's a purple, uh, purple clip. And there's also, if you can see back there, an orange grommet. So what that orange grommet does is that keeps the weather out, the moisture, the water. When this, uh, I'm using a coil pack here as an example. When you press this in, it locks in, keeps all that moisture out. Now, keep in mind, since that rubber grommet's back there, it gives you that final, when you press it in, you get that final click, okay? And when that final click, it kind of rests back. And the reason is, is because it's, it's sitting on that rubber grommet. So the, the biggest misconception about these connectors is you walk up to a connector and you try to undo this clasp. And you will see it doesn't work. This clasp doesn't come out. So I said, you know what, let me see if anybody else has helped anybody out on YouTube. So I happened to go to YouTube the other day and I typed in D connector or whatever it is, electrical terminal for your know, European car. And I saw a couple guys doing videos and I can't tell you, I was uh, ashamed of what I saw. Guys were recommended to use pick tools, to use screwdrivers, to get in there and pry it. If you are using a pick tool, this is a big <laughs> Do not use this on a connector. You are going to damage it. Yes, you might be able to get it off, but it, for the next person who works on the car, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna leave them pretty upset when they get there. Not only that, if you have a damage uh, coil pack connector, you're gonna have misfires. It can leave the car running on, on whatever, three or five cylinders, however, however many your engine is. It can cause so many problems. Um, I've seen these clips broken on engine temp sensors and come off and cars doing all kinds of weird stuff and you name it. So the easy way to get these connectors off and to get to the point here is that you cannot go up to it and press down and get this off. You have to apply compression as hard as you can that way. Once you do that, it will lift off and pull off. Now, with two hands, it's pretty easy. But I will tell you, when the challenge comes, when you're reaching your hand down to the engine bay to get that pesky connector and you can't get it off and you're so frustrated and, and, and you're about to break the clip. So remember, it's compression first, lift up, pull off. It sounds simple, but I promise you this video will help you if you're working on these cars that have these connectors everywhere. So just keep in mind, if you do see these connectors damage, you wonder, how can I replace that connector? On uspmotorsports.com, we actually sell a specialty item. This is called the Work Tool a Terminal Kit. And what this does is actually slides into these D connectors and allows you to click in and the wire will pull out. Therefore, you can purchase a new connector and go about your merry way. Um, but like I said, the average car that comes in our facility if it's been worked on by somewhere else, I typically see right away four coal pack clips are broken, trashed, you name it. And I always just scratch my head because now I gotta tell a customer, you gotta replace these clips and uh, because they were damaged somewhere else. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos like this. Thanks for watching.